My name is Robson Green. I'm an actor and a fisherman. After 30 years chasing the wily trout and salmon in the tranquil rivers of the northeast, I fancied myself as a bit of an expert. Woohoo! How wrong I was. Running. Last series, I went on a globe-trotting, fish-finding mission that tested my abilities to the max. Get in! This time, we're taking things even further. From one end of the planet to the other. So I'll be catching fish in some of the iciest places in the world. This has to be the coldest place I have ever visited. Oh, and some of the steamiest. Oh. I'll be working with those who risk their lives to feed us. I will never complain about being an actor ever again. And experiencing some traditional fishing methods and some not so traditional. Ah. It's one man versus nature in waters a million miles from the gentle streams that I'm used to. I caught a crayfish. Good things come to those who wait. This is extreme fishing. And this is why we came here. Look at that fish. <laughs> In these eight shows, I'll be traveling to the far corners of the Earth, from the sun-kissed Philippines to the edge of the Arctic, from the Australian wilderness to the Niagara Falls. I'll be going upriver and into the oceans, Fish on, chasing some of the most exciting, Look strongest, ah, it's all around, eh? and outrageous fish on the planet. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? I'll be learning how the natives do it, how the professionals do it, oh, oh and how this Ponzi Geordie actor does it. Yes, he went in! <laughs> a weather lad. We kick off the series in Canada, where I learn an entirely new way of fishing. Oh, oh shit! Hunt the continent's biggest freshwater fish. Randy's gonna fucking take me over, seriously. Oh, and I think I'm gonna die. Just my luck! We hit a hurricane! Canada is where serious anglers die and come to heaven. It's got 150,000 miles of rugged coastline, raging rivers, and 1,200 species of fish. This first leg of my fishing odyssey brings me to the wild west of British Columbia. <laughs> Welcome to Vancouver. Eight hours behind. Might be seven o'clock here, but it's stupid o'clock in my head. I'm going to be testing myself against this incredible wilderness. I only hope I'm man enough to take it. Singing, wish, lads, I got jet lag. My head is bouncing off the walls. Wish, lads, it's 4.48 in the morning, and I'm gun fishing in Vancouver. Oh, my God, I've lost the plot. Vancouver might be Canada's third largest city, but it's got great fishing right on its doorstep. The River Fraser flows through the city, and just a few miles upstream lurks North America's biggest freshwater fish. These beasts grow to over five meters, and they can weigh 10 times more than I do. I'm here to catch the mystical sturgeon. You must be Randy. Yeah. How you doing? Uh, Robson. Uh, nice to meet you, Robson. <laughs> and the guy who's going to help me get one is local pro Randy Beck. Have we ever had anyone from Newcastle upon Tyne on board? No, never. Do you know what people are called from Newcastle upon Tyne? Blade Army. Geordies. Nice. Yeah, you got a Geordie on board. Go, Geordie boy on board. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're river fishing, but there is no way I'm casting from the bank. For these giants, you need a boat. Otherwise, when you hook one, you'll find yourself water skiing along in its wake. Think of it like a tug of war with a small car. Yeah, this is nice. We've got a good tide, too. We're going to get some fish. I love it. You heard it? It's the anchor. Butch fisherman here. This here, Robson, is known as the Mangina. The Mangina. This goes like on it. when you get a fish. Mm -hmm. We'll be needing that. We'll keep that handy here. 
You ever heard of the group Saxon? No. Yeah, they were a heavy metal band. The guy used to have his, uh, one of these ons and the guitar used to be strapped to it. His party piece used to whiz the guitar around. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I know loads of stuff. <laughs> Sturgeon grow so gargantuan because they eat the millions of salmon whose natural life cycle ends here. Unfortunately for me, a sturgeon's favourite food is not for the sensitive of smell. This is known as uh, Randy's Bucket of Green Death. Oh, Randy, I can smell it now, this and that's is, not me. This is called stink bait, Robson. <laughs> oh, Randy, that's not good. That is shocking. Grab that knife there, cut off a chunk. Yeah, Welcome to British Columbia. British Columbia. Oh, that is just really... Do you want to try giving us a cast, or should I? A mere whiff of Randy's putrefied salmon is enough to make many a seasoned fisherman gag. Keep your thumb on the spool. Thumb on, thumb on, hit it. Good. You'll feel it clunk. God, I love butch. Time to see if Randy's stink bait will tickle the sturgeon's taste buds. Poetry. Now it's a waiting game. Come on. Please bite. I've travelled 7,000 miles. He's there. He's there. Down in the murky depths, something's beginning to stir. A bite there on that one? Number one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Here we go. I'll tell you. Tell me when. So now just pull it up. Hit it, hit it, hit it! Real, real, real! Yeah. He's on? No. No. No, he's gone. There we go. Kind of nearly had a heart attack. Nice fish. Shoot. Nice fish, nice heart attack. Hit it, hit it, hit it! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We don't have to wait long before we're in again. Now, now, now! Real, 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 yeah, real, yeah, real! Yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get this rod out of your yeah, way. Yeah. Right oh, that's it. Where this is? could be a monster. I feel like I've hooked into a mini submarine. Oof. Well, that was a much better take. Bang! Don't go, don't nice go. Nice and easy, nice and easy, Ross. Look at the bend in that rod. Oh. 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 No, I can't move this fish at the moment. No. I'll wind in two yards, and he takes two yards. <sighs> That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. No. Hang on, can I hold him like that? Yep. Here, what? You want me to hold the tail, you hold the head? Yeah. Okay. Woo! <laughs> that is an astonishing looking creature. This sturgeon, prehistoric in look and form, has survived two ice ages. Sought after for its eggs, but you know what? I couldn't give a toss about its eggs because I just think it's the most beautiful looking fish. <sighs> Both in its colour and in its form. It's beautiful. Look at that fish. Sturgeon are incredibly valuable because their eggs make caviar. This one could be worth up to £20,000. But as they're endangered, they're protected in Canada. And this one has to go back. Yeah, yeah! No longer a sturgeon virgin! You're the man, Randy Beck! <laughs> Woo! They might be rare, but they love Randy's stink bait. Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. <sighs> we get another strike, and this one feels like the daddy. <laughs> Jet lag's gone. Look at that bend in that rod. Ah! You fish. Now, where does he want to take me? Oh! Oh! Oh, sugar! I think he needs to take some tension off. Randy! Ah! He's... Oh, Randy! Hang on. Randy's gonna fucking take me over, seriously. Guy, get a fucking hold of me. I got you. Fuck. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Look at that, he's away. Oh! 
This has to be the biggest fish I've ever had in my life. He's coming, buddy. Yeah. Get him, get him. Come on, that son. Oh, fuck, is he off? Broke off. Oh, fuck off. Broke him off. You bastard. Bollocks. That was 200, 300 pound. No word of a lie. Had to be. I just whacked a 90 pound trace off there. But the thing is, the fish win sometime, and it's going to take a better fisherman than me to bring that fish out of water. Bollocks! If I'd landed that fish, it would have made my whole trip. But that's fishing. Now I want to find out what makes sturgeon so special, and how better than with a hearty meal. Caviar. Probably the most expensive food on the planet. Sturgeon's eggs might be black gold, but are they worth it? Bottoms up. Well, that's the first time I've ever tasted caviar. And the last. It tastes like fucking shit. Mm -mm. Coming up, I get to put the fly into fly fishing. Oh, yeah, look at this huge fly running here, big coho. And don't enjoy a spot of kayaking. Right, this is fucking insane. We need a plan B, okay? I'm in Canada to test myself in some of the most savage environments on Earth. This is the world's second largest country. Vast tracts of primeval wilderness. So, to get to the best fishing spots, you have to take to the skies. And we come out on the top here and you start seeing oh. some of the mountains. The mountains and trees below are all part of a massive temperate rainforest. Well, I've been to fly fishing in my time. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, well, this certainly does put the fly into fishing. You've got that right. There's some below you now, directly yeah. on that corner. There's some right there. So yeah, I got you a big group of salmon. Yeah, you can see them there. Salmon! Oh, yeah, look at this huge boy running here, big coho. That's coho, all right. Yeah, yeah there it is. is. Peter and Perry have been finding hidden spots like this for 30 years. This is one of those rare places untouched by man. The only footpaths around here are made by bears or moose. Can I just let you listen to something? That's called solitude. That's called connection. Just thinking, what? During the year? What, 10, 12 people are privileged enough to fish around here? Something like I'd that? say so far this year, six, counting two of us. Wow. There they are. I'm here to hook my first ever coho. I'm told that pound for pound, they're the best fighting salmon there is. Purists, like Perry, like to catch them with a fly. Have you ever had a grizzly come near you? Many, many times. How fast can you do the 100 metres, Perry? I can do it in 11 seconds. Hopefully 10 and a half. Oh, no. Damn. This has to be the most tranquil spot I've ever fished. But it would be much nicer if I was getting some bites. Perry, either it's my casting, or it's your fly, or the fish can't be bothered. The fly's worked before. Yeah, and it's not my casting. There you go. You tell them my casting's good. It's fine. <laughs> the joy of this kind of fly fishing is, if they aren't biting on one river, it's easy to get to another. With 10,000 square miles to choose from, we surely have to get a bite somewhere. Down there, the river. 
we zip round a mountain to try the crystal waters of the Cowinch River. Believe it or not, just in front of us are about 500 fish. If we don't catch one, Perry, we're going to be looking pretty stupid. <laughs> There's so many fish that Peter the pilot can't resist having a pop. And the lucky blighter gets one. This is a female coho, see the fat belly on her and the nice rounded nose. You're talking 13, 14 pound there. Yeah. Isn't she beautiful? That's a pure bar of silver. I can't believe how actually pretty she is. We'll get her back in. Well, we got a prize specimen, but I did not come all this way to hold another man's fish. I've got to get a bite, but we're running out of daylight. There you go. Yeah, now we're in. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Mikey. You know what's lovely about fishing? We arrived in a helicopter, you got a backdrop like this, you got two beautiful men like this, and what? when you put a fish onto that equation, it's perfect. I'm just gonna come to the rest of the tail. Oh, there you go. My first Canadian coho. This fella's migrated thousands of miles. And they've still got enough strength in them to fight me for half an hour. <laughs> Here you go. Coho salmon. My very first coho. And I'm still whispering. Out of respect for this place. <laughs> Back to the bucket. Oh, oh thank God for that. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy now. The great thing about heli fishing is you can get back from the wilds and into a warm, comfortable bed in the blink of an eye. Unfortunately, when I get there, a blink is all I get. Ah, dawn breaks. Am I tucked up dreaming of fish? No, I'm island hopping. We're heading for tiny Gabriola Island. I'm hoping its waters are sheltered by all that land around it. But today, it's blowing a hooli, so it's not. Look, I'm flying! I love it here! And why have I been dragged all this way? To go canoeing. I tried it last year in South Africa. I felt like shark bait. But at least the water was warm. Kim! Kim Kayak and Crosby. Robson. It is Robson. How are you? Nice to meet you. How yeah. are you? My guide's a kayaking evangelist. It's going to take a miracle to convert me. Perfect. Feet on paddles, perfect. All right, all good to go? Yeah, I'm excited, Kim. Let's go. <sighs> Joy. I'm paddling in the Strait of Georgia. In these narrows, the Pacific's wildlife congregates. Killer whales, sea lions, sharks. Yes, that's right, sharks. Chin up, chest out, stroke, stroke. The water is ridiculously cold. I so don't want to fall stroke. in. Just feeling a tad exposed and vulnerable. We're heading for the reefs where ling cod like these live. This time of year, they're guarding their eggs, so they're highly aggressive. They're also delicious, so I'm hoping we'll catch one for lunch. My worry is that lingcod can grow to over 80 pounds, and I'm bobbing about in a little plastic boat. If you bang into a big fish, won't it take the kayak with it? It does, it pulls the boat, and I don't have a neck big enough for that, so you just grab in into the gills, pull it in here, punch the shit out of the fish, okay. and down it goes. So if I bang into a really big fish, it could take me towards Alaska. It, it could. It could yeah. pull you for a while anyway. You're going to stay close to me? I'm with you, baby. Well, I've been on some dates in my time, Kim, but this, this, this one's unique. The wind is so strong, it keeps blowing the kayaks off the reef. But you're looking marvelous. 
I'd use the word marvellous very loosely, Kim. In two hours of paddling, I've only managed about ten minutes of fishing. And I've not had a single bite. They said ocean kayaking would be breathtaking. I say it's mickey-taking. This is extreme. This is extreme fishing! <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Right, this is fucking insane. We need a plan B, OK? This is just daft. Plan A was to cook our catch like they did in the good old days. I can't feel my toes. My bottom has gone numb. My credibility is rock bottom. Have we got a plan B, Kim? I dropped some prawn traps earlier today. Why don't we go check those? How about some... Lovely prawns for lunch. The prawns at this moment in time is absolutely perfect. Get me out of this kayak. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Before we can get any prawns, we've got to pull up Kim's oh, prawn traps. Pot's coming up. They're on the bottom, 100 metres down. Oh, this for a prawn. Normally, I like to eat what I catch. Right now, my stomach feels like my throat's been cut. There's two more prawns. There's two more traps. I don't care. We have spent an hour pulling this boat. It's a barren wasteland. Fucking <laughs> bastard! <laughs> Luckily, there's one more trap. At last, lunch holds into view. We've got a prawn. So happy. There's a taste when you're fishing, whether it be fish or prawn. And the taste is called clean. Believe it or not, and it doesn't get any cleaner or any fresher than this. What a lovely end to a unique day. <laughs> Extreme fishing, baby. <laughs> yeah. Fish on. You are not in. Coming up. I face off with a fishing giant and decide to bet my dignity. The loser has to swim naked in the Stamp Lagoon. I'm in Canada to brave its wild side. Oh, Randy! I've already banged into a monster oh. and lost it. Fuck, is he off? And now I'm heading for a Wild West fish fight. The thing is, if I lose again, my manhood's at stake. I'm really looking forward to today because I've been entered into a competition. Never been in a fishing competition before, but I think my chances are good. You know, there has been a question mark over my fishing ability during this show, but I think a lot of questions are going to be answered today because this is my type of fishing. <sighs> Like I do on the coca back home and the tweed and the spay. Being surrounded by peace, quiet and tranquility. But this is Canada. I'm roaring up the Stamp River, a fish superhighway that's famous for its megabytes. I wish I could admire the scenery, but I'm here to challenge one of the best rodsmen in the country. You're looking very confident there, Rody Hyder. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good, Robson. Yeah, I've heard you're good. I've heard you're the best in BC. Uh, I've been told that a few times. Yeah, people have called you the Jedi Knight of steelhead fishing. That's a new one on me, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so, competition, what's the deal? Should, we, should it be biggest fish or most fish? Well, maybe to give you a chance, you could say biggest, but uh, maybe we'll go most fish. You see the look on his face? You know he's going to win, don't you? And uh, instead of a prize, what about a forfeit? <laughs> the loser has to swim naked in the Stamp Lagoon. Sounds like a good challenge to me, Robson. Oh, he's horribly confident, isn't he? <laughs> horribly confident. What am I thinking? That water will instantly freeze my tackle off. 
And this guy knows the river like the back of his hand. Three, two, one, cast. Can I just trot? Yes, sir. And you're just going to leave that thing open? I've got to win. I'm fishing for pride here. OK. Fishing for Geordie pride. Oh, There's one right there. Real, 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 real. Oh! Oh! Oh, you're honing in on him there, Robson. Oh! oh. Hey! Oh, Whoa! Cheeky. Look what's up here. The name's Robson Green, Rolly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wear it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice yeah. take. Good hook up, Robson. Oh, look at that. I'm off to a flyer. <laughs> First one in. One nil to Newcastle, Sean. My first steelhead. And it's called a steelhead because when they migrate to the ocean, they turn a lovely steel blue. Also, they're called a steelhead because they're a hell of a fighter. And that's my first one. <laughs> and I'm ahead in the competition. And Roly Roly looks really scared. <laughs> One nil. Get you. Nicely done, Robson. Thanks very much, Roly. <laughs> One nothing, eh? Hey, Roly. Oh, look at them all. Oh, there's a huge one. What, steel like that? Yeah. Must be 18, 19 pounds laying there. Yeah. There's four or five laying right in there, right in the hole. I tell you what, Roly. That water's cold. <laughs> Roly. Do you know oh, what? I, I think Fish on. you are not in. You cannot I'm be in. in. Yeah, I'm in. Oh, God, cut the line. How big is it, Roly? This one here? Oh, it's way bigger than yours. But you know what? Size isn't everything. That's <laughs> not what the ladies tell me. <laughs> I believe that makes it one all. All right, so he's just got lucky. But I'm in my first ever contest. We're two hours in, and I'm holding my own against the world's cockiest Canadian. Come on, baby. Oh. Got him. Woo. It's a steely. Oh, it's oh. Is he on? Oh. It was a beauty, too. That was a, a silver beautiful one. big fish. Oh, dear. How sad. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God for that. There's one. Oh, yeah, baby. We're in again. No, you can't yeah, be. Yeah, baby. Steely. Woo! Holy smokes. Oh, God! Turning up the heat here, Robson. Well, you're just toying with me. I can't swim. It's about five and a half pounds, I'd say. It's a nice little buck, a male. And uh, I believe that makes it two to one. <laughs> <laughs> It's a joke. I'm not swimming naked. Don't be silly. <laughs> Sean is. <laughs> Three hours in, it's 2-1 to the Colonials. I've got to get back in the game. Whoa, who's got a steelhead? Please let it be 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> what did I say? Is it game of two halves? Hey, two, two. <laughs> well done. I'm, I'm having such a good day. <laughs> Get in. It's two, two. Game oh, on, Roly. Come it. on. Get in. It's all to play for. The sun's sinking. It's two all. And this river ain't big enough for the both of us. One hour to go, Roly. One hour to go. Start stripping. <laughs> I'm neck and neck with the region's best angler, and the stakes couldn't be higher. What are we going to do if it's a draw? Don't worry, it won't be a draw. Just get your skimpies ready. The tension's really starting to tell. Got him this time? Yeah. Get him? Oh, oh, no. Here we go. One of us is going to get one here. I think it's going to be me. Five minutes to go. Five minutes. Two, two. Fish oh, on, shit. boys! <laughs> oh, look. Whoa! Not a big one, but they all count. Last minute of extra time! 
And that's the final fish. An injury time winner. Gutted. I never thought I'd be so unhappy to see a steelhead. Scoop him out. Robson. Thank you. Looks mighty cold. <laughs> I'm not going in the drink room. <laughs> I'm not going in the drink. Oh, yes, I believe you are. Well, best man won. I mean, he is the best fisherman in BC. He only beat me by one fish. But I'm a man of me word. Stiff up a lip and all that, Robson. Jesus. I do this every day in Newcastle. Not a problem. <laughs> Jesus! Jesus! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my! Oh god! Yeah, you happy now? Any Canadians? Yeah! Caught one at last! 3-3! Three, three. Oh god! Now you might think that this is the worst thing that could happen to me, but you'd be wrong. You're only gonna get that back. I'm heading for the most hellish experience of my entire life. And there's no way off the boat. Come on, get! Come on, get! You sick fuckers! What are you doing? You're going to live it! Woo! I'm in Canada having the time of my life. I'm so happy. But it's all about to go horribly wrong. This feels like the ends of the Earth. My final journey brings me to the far northern corner of Vancouver Island. And I don't want to go any further. Seasickness tablets. Uh, I feel a bit scared today, because we're going out on a trawler on one of the most notorious stretches of the North Pacific. And I've just seen the weather forecast, and they're predicting sleet and snow. So not only is it going to be stormy, but it's going to be freezing. And we're going to be on that boat for 24 hours. All for a fish. So far, I've pitted myself against nature, and it's played nice. Bye-bye, land. I love you. But winter in the North Pacific Ocean is where nature gets nasty. I'm an angler, and I'm an actor. And just one look at this ship tells me that wherever these guys are going, it's going to get rough. Bob? Robson, yes. welcome aboard. Thank you, Bob. Been looking forward to this. Yes, oh, I'm, I'm so looking forward to this. This is great. No, it's not great, Bob. Oh, well. I'm apprehensive. I'm nervous. I'm scared. Oh, hi, this is, high, this is uh, serious high seas. Yeah. The big river. We're going offshore. That's the way it is. It's like going to another planet. This is extreme fishing. Yeah. I'm serious. Hey, hey. spot the odd one out! <laughs> We're heading northwest, off the notorious Brooks Peninsula. The explorer Captain Cook called it the Cape of Storms. Skipper Bob from Maine and I go for a little reassuring man-to-man -man chat. I'll be really honest with you. I am slightly nervous and, and apprehensive and a bit scared. When you come out here, you got to be ready to focus because it's high end. I don't. If if someone doesn't really want to come fishing with me, I don't take them. Yeah. I never phone my crew guys. I never phone them and say, "Will you come with me?" No way. Yeah. They gotta want to be here. And it's the same as you when you're the captain. You gotta want to be here. So you're absolutely at your best. Mm. Shit, look at that swell. Oh dear, here we go. I've been in some very serious storms where I really thought that this wheelhouse was gonna get knocked off the boat. And, you know, what I'm saying is I've been scared before. Okay. You know, when you're, you know, 400, 500 miles offshore and it's blowing so hard that you can't even hear it. That, you think the storm's peaking, it's just screaming, it's just woo, 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 and you think it's peaking, and then it just comes up, woo, 
<laughs> and the whole boat's just shaking, and and you literally think your wheelhouse is going to get knocked off. That's um, when you do really see God, believe me. If I was nervous before, I'm really bricking it now. This is nothing. Honey, this is just a warm-up. They're expecting 55 mile an hour wind. The ocean pearl braves all weathers to catch sablefish. It's a favorite in high-end Asian restaurants. Unfortunately for me, these delicacies live up to two miles down in waters chilled by Arctic winds. Marvelous. Once the crew find their marker, boys, the serious work begins. I've signed on the job for 24 hours, and I've got Seamus to show me the ropes. And this is our man, it's our gang boss. We have to turn into the weather to haul in the traps. At least working keeps my mind off the fear. What age did you start this? What age? Yeah, what age did you want to come into this? 14! Yeah, fucking and fishing, that's what Dad taught me. Fucking and fishing! That's right. I will never complain about being an actor ever again. My whole life. I don't know what hard work is. Is that another, you know, another career choice you could have gone with? Absolutely not. Yeah? See, for a young guy, this is not a bad occupation, right? You go to see, right? You make good money. So what's it on average? What can you make a month? A month? You're looking to make ten grand a month, right? Really? Waves roaring by are over 20 foot high, and I choose the wrong time and the wrong place to take my eye off the danger. worst job is mine. This is like a nightmarish fairground ride. One with big sharp knives. Get in there! That's a lot of sable. Everybody starts smiling. But a lot of sable means a lot of money. You me? It's a lot of worry. Money, money, money. On a good day, the Ocean Pearl can land a hundred thousand pounds worth of sable. But this is a bad day, and Bob has a lot more on his mind than the weather. The only way to balance the boat's costs is to find as many fish as quickly as possible. Fish here two months and it was like watts. And now there's nothing. The dark makes it worse, because now you can't see the waves coming. Even with the storm upon us, we have to pull in the next line. No. And you're not going home for New Year? 
No, but we will be home eventually. Yeah. <laughs> One day. Each empty pot weighs about 100 pounds. I did the first 10. Seamus just did that one just to show you. There's the first 10. And there's some others I did earlier. All the time, the weather is getting worse. In fact, on average, it blows a hurricane three days a week out here. Luckily, the ship's designed to take it. I'm just not sure I can. Before I came onto this boat, they said it's actually designed to brighten hurricanes. Just my luck! We hit a hurricane! After 12 hours, the wind, the work, and everything moving starts to take its toll. I feel I'm gonna chug. I'm gonna chug. This is getting beyond a joke. Being sick marks the end of my shift. Luckily, Bob takes pity and heads for sheltered waters. <sighs> Land. Thank for that. I was in a hurricane last night, and... There was one point that uh, I really feared for my life. It's when I was washed along the deck. I really was scared from the bottom of my heart. And within that second, I really miss my family. I came to Canada to experience untamed nature. Now I've seen some of its power, I feel pretty humbled. Last night was the most traumatic of my life. Rodson, you done her. That was a great, great trip. Great oh, trip. You. And uh, welcome to extreme fishing anytime you want. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah, bye bye. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. I can't tell you how good it feels to be getting off. Can you believe they're going out again? Unbelievable. Bob and his crew won't come back to land again for another five weeks. My mission in Canada began just six days ago. I always knew it had the potential to be good. I just didn't know how good. I'm trying to come up with so many superlatives that could describe this extraordinary experience. But you know what? What do you think? I've been in Canada for just a few days, but what a trip it's been. Randy, you're gonna fucking take me over, seriously. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. oh. bollocks. Look at that fish. Oh. My very first coho. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now I need to lie down in a darkened room. Next time on Extreme Fishing... Ice! I'm in Sub-Zero, Alaska. I got him, I got him! Woohoo! Chasing the king of fish. Fish on! You are kidding me? We got a fish on? Woohoo! Look at that! You're the man! You're the fish hunter! Robson's back same time next week here on Five and you can catch up with Extreme Fishing with Robson Green anytime you like because it's available on Demand Five.